Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to share with you my December nail polish haul. These are the new nail polishes that I have picked up during the month of December that I'm excited to add to my collection and incorporate into some of my winter looks and other times throughout the year. I have already worn a few of these, <laughs> which I do list that on my Instagram, so be sure to check down below where I will have my Instagram linked in case you want to follow me there. But the first one that I want to share with you that I picked up is this new line from Pacifica. This is the Plant Magic. And... This is a mermaid tail. I have worn this. I will say I don't really get this kind of a vibe from this nail polish. It looks more of like a glittery green. So if you look at the top part of the bottle, like this aqua deep color, I don't I don't get that that like oil slick effect from this nail polish. What I get is a little bit of the shimmer green that's at the top. And that was with like four coats. I built this up trying to get to this color and I, it just wasn't happening. This was almost $10. I kind of regret picking this up, to be honest, because it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it. I picked this up at Ulta. So at that same shopping trip, I picked up this shade from OPI called Decked to the Pine. It's kind of like a, like a sea mossy green, shimmery kind of color. I don't know. It, it looked a little bit more swampy than pine so this also was a disappointment sad to say and during that same shopping trip at Ulta <laughs> I picked up this color as well this is from Essie the Expressi line and this is called fake the espresso I don't know if it's facing the right way fake the espresso <laughs> check that in the description box for all the information of the nail polishes I'll leave the brand names and the colors list down below yeah, so sorry if it got a little fuzzy. Okay, so yeah, this one um, was also $10. I haven't used this one yet. And so I ordered mm, both of these. I ordered this one and the cute little red one. And the red one is on delay, but the white one did arrive. And these both came from, one of them came from Amazon. I try to avoid shopping from Amazon, but every now and then, like maybe two to three times a year, I have to. It, have to. So this was for one of those things. This was one of the reasons I shopped for Amazon this year. I couldn't find this anywhere else. It was already sold out and I really, really wanted this collection. Look at how absolutely cute this little Snoopy bottle is. Yeah. There's the sticker for the collab on the back. And then here's the shade name. And currently on my nails is this color here. This is the um, Essie FX and this is the oil, oil fix, no, oil slick FX and it's number 900. Let me just say, yes, it does kind of give an oil slicky look, but it is a very sheer formula and this is literally like four coats and it's still very sheer. I can see the nail line completely. So if that bothers you, this might not be the shade for you. It does bother me, <laughs> but I'm making do. It's not like I'm gonna wear this every single day, you know, but it is a fun color and I actually think it looks really pretty with my current eye look and the sweater that I have on. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Expressy um, Oil Slick FX. Okay, and so I picked this up from Target. This is called Wink of Sleep by Essie. Here's the polish color. There's the number. I hope it's facing the right direction. But it's a really, really pretty, like, uh, slightly blurple, a little bit more blue than purple. I'm really looking forward to using this, but I feel like this is probably more of like a Easter, springtime, and summertime color for me. So... Now let's get into some of the holiday. Oh, this isn't it. Okay. And so here's another one that I picked up. Oh, I forgot to tell you where I got this. I got both of these at Kroger. I got them at a Kroger and um, I bought them both at the same time. This is called the Ice Out Special Effects. And this is part of that same like oil slick line. Here's the number or the name. 
and it just kind of has kind of like that mother of pearl vibe. I haven't used it yet, but it looks really beautiful. I have a feeling though that it, since it's in this same effects line, I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very sheer formula. So I really hope not because that's really annoying to have to put 20 layers on to still be able to see your nail. Like, no, I ain't got time for all that. <laughs> Anyways, okay. And then during that same shopping trip, I saw this at the Kroger. It was a really, really cute little Essie. Um, it's like a little choo-choo train of nail polishes. And here's what the package looks like in the back. These are the shades. Oh yeah, it also tells you the shade names here. And here's the colors. I had been looking for a hunter green, like a forest green for Christmas, so all season long. I hadn't been able to find one. Everybody had all these other wild greens, but not like just straight up green green without it being too summer leafy green. So I'm really excited to have found this and really this is what made me buy this whole set. But then I got to looking at it and was like, this is really cute. <laughs> so I was really excited to pick this up. And then yesterday I was at Ulta and I saw that they had only this half of the set, which at Kroger, they only had this one there. They didn't have any others. And this one I paid like $15.99. Kroger's more expensive. Um, but I, I think I paid like $15.99 for this one. And I saw this one at Ulta and you can see this one is like $13.98. So this one was a little bit less, but I got this at Ulta and this is more of the winter holiday reds and pinks it's kind of like a champagne -y color and then a really pretty like wine red and then a really beautiful glitter that can go over any of these colors really and a really pretty like berry mauve kind of like a wintry pink maybe yeah so this will be a lot of fun to get some different looks out of I'm really excited to have found these especially. I seem to really be a fan of the classic as like not classic like a long time ago but I mean classic like just regular not the FX. Um, I seem to really really like the regular Essie polish line and I really enjoy that so I hope that the little bottles won't disappoint me but I just thought these were so so cute that I wanted to share with you. So uh, can you see right there? Yeah. So I wanted to just share with you in case you wanted to check them out, in case maybe you wanted to look for them. Yeah, so the last holiday set that I wanna share with you for my December mainstream nail polish haul is this really, really cute OPI Advent Cow. I haven't opened it up yet. I should have gotten started with this. I did buy this in November, I'm running a little behind with my filming schedule. <laughs> Real life sets in, you know, it's just a hobby for me. So it's hard to prioritize my filming schedule because I'm a mother, I'm a wife, you know, I'm a business owner. I have real life that comes up. Anyway, I'm going to do a dedicated video opening up this advent calendar and checking out all the polishes. So if you're interested in checking that out, please be sure to subscribe so you can get the notification of when that video comes up, which will be coming up really soon in a few days. Those are all the mainstream nail polishes that I've picked up during December. Of course, aside from the red one of these, which won't arrive until January, but that's part of this December haul. So it's just a little red one and it's got like the cute little peppermints on it. Anyway, but this haul does not include any of my indie polishes, which I know I had said in my last indie polish video <laughs> that I wasn't gonna pick up anymore until I got through all the other new ones, but I did. I placed an order for a few during the December PPU ordering time, so I expect to get them later on in the month. So I'll be sure to post a separate video when those arrive. But yeah, so those are all the polishes that I've picked up so far in the month of December, and I'm really excited to add these to my collection and get a little bit more range in some of the colors that I play with and get to wear throughout the year. So yeah, let me know down below, what are some of the nail polish colors that you've picked up this season? What colors are you into wearing during the cold, cold winter months and specifically during December? I'd love to know, are you into indie? Are you into mainstream? There's all kinds of nail things. I'd like to know what it is that you do. Leave that down below, because I'm just super curious. I just paint my own nails. I used to do gel nails at home for myself back when I used to work in an office and was too busy to paint my nails often but now I'm living my best life and I get to paint my nails as often as I want. So that's what I do. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to click the thumbs up button. It really does help my channel out so much. 
and subscribe so we can hang out again. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.